What's up guys, welcome to your 17th Python tutorial, and in this tutorial I'm going to be going over some more string stuff, but it's actually some more interesting stuff, so pay attention. <coughs> so in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to format a string, first of all. So let me show you guys what that means. It means how you plug in variables into your string, and it's probably a little different than you think, so uh, pay attention. Let's go ahead and get a string named Bucky. Actually, let's change it up a bit. Let's name it uh, Bucky. Sucker. I couldn't think of anything. So, um, let's go ahead and start writing something to put hey there. In any time, let's go write hey there, Bucky. Um, how's your head? But anytime we want to change one of these things, we're going to need a variable. And to write variables when working with strings, all you have to do is use the percent sign and then write what type of data it is. So instead of, say we wanted to write a program that says, hey there, and then your custom name, and then how's your, and then a custom body part. So instead of Bucky, we would delete that because we don't know what their name is yet. And press percent sign S, and what S means is string. So percent s together means all right. You don't know what's going in here yet, but it's going to be a string variable. And instead of head, press percent s, and this means all right. Also, a percent, or excuse me, a percent variable. Next, we need two variables. So just put var b or something like that. And now we have to enter two variables. So the first one we'll write is something like Betty. And the second one we'll write is, let me format that right, and how is your foot? So now we have a string with two variables missing from it and another variable, or another list, excuse me, that has two variables. So how do we add these two together? Now to format a string using this variable syntax, we have to write print to print it out on the screen and then write the name of your string that's missing the variables and mine is Bucky after that use the percent sign and using the percent sign tells it alright we have a string with missing variables before the percent sign we're going to tell you what the string is after percent sign we're going to tell you what the variables are so go ahead and write Bucky percent var b and this means take the variables from here and plug them into here and now once you press enter hey there betty how's your foot you can also um write something different like var c and change it up a little bit like um hey there tuna how's your fin wow i'm clever and now you can print bucky percent sign var c hey there tuna how's your fin so again this is a, a way you can write a program to like um customly greet different people using the values they input or something which i might just show you later if i get ambitious uh another thing that i want to find or i want to show you guys is how to find stuff in a string and this is using the find method so let's go ahead and uh, make an example called example and let me just write, um, hey now, Bessie, um, nice chops. And go ahead and create that. And now our example is, hey there, Bessie, nice chops. Say we wanted to find one of the words in here. What we do is use the find function. And this is built in string method. And I, I use the word function when I should be using method a lot, but just bear with me. So go ahead and type example find. And your parameters to find any of the words in here is just that. So say we want to find Bessie. Go ahead and press enter. And we're going to get an 8. And if you're saying, WTF does 8 mean? Well, here's what it means. It searches all along here until it finds where that string starts. So H is 0, just like um, your listing array. 1, 2, spaces actually count. So this is 3, 4, five six seven and Bessie starts at eight uh, again type in your name of the string find in the parameters of whatever you want to find so chops 
I mean guess. Uh, 15. Oh, 20. I was way off. So again, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, all the way in chops starts at 20. That's where the C lands. And the last um, method I want to talk to you guys about is something called join. Now what a join does is pretty much um, takes two strings and joins them together. So say you have one string says, let's make a separator first. P-E-R-A-T-R, make sure I spell it right. And the, our separator can be something like, let's write Haas. So our separator is Haas. Now our sequence is pretty much our sentence. So let's go ahead and write, actually I think I want to tell you, save this for the next tutorial. So um, in the next tutorial I'm going to be talking to you guys about joins. I'm running out of time now and I want to get in detail with this. So don't forget to check out my next tutorial where I'll be showing you guys how to join or, well, you'll see in the next tutorial. But thank you guys for watching this one. Hopefully you learned how to format strings and also how to find stuff in your string. So again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.